The past resembles the future more than one drop of water resembles another. Throughout history many nations have suffered a physical defeat. But that has never marked the end of a nation. But when a nation has become the victim of a psychological defeat, then that marks the end of a nation. Man is essentially ignorant, and becomes learned through acquiring knowledge. Government is an institution which prevents injustice other than such as it commits itself. Man is the child of customs, not the child of his ancestors. He who finds a new path is a pathfinder, even if the trail has to be found again by others. And he who walks far ahead of his contemporaries is a leader, even though centuries pass before he is recognized as such. Habits are qualities of the soul. The term of life of a dynasty does not normally exceed three generations. For in the first generation are still preserved the characteristic features of rough, uncivilized rural life, such as hard conditions of life, courage, ferocity, and partnership and authority. Therefore the strength of the Asabiya is maintained. If the soul is impartial in receiving information, it devotes to that information the share of critical investigation the information deserves. And its truth or untruth thus becomes clear. However, if the soul is infected with partisanship for a particular opinion or sect, it accepts without a moment's hesitation the information that is agreeable to it. Prejudice and partisanship obscure the critical faculty and preclude critical investigation. The results is that falsehoods are accepted and transmitted. Sedentary culture is the goal of civilization. It means the end of its lifespan and brings about its corruption. Businesses owned by responsible and organized merchants shall eventually surpass those owned by we, wealthy rulers. The easiest method of acquiring the habit of scholarship is through acquiring the ability to express s oneself clearly in discussing and disputing scholarly problems. This is what clarifies their import and makes them understandable. Some students spend most of their lives attending scholarly sessions. Still, one finds them silent. They do not talk and do not discuss matters. More than is necessary, they are concerned with memorizing. Thus, they do not obtain much of a habit in the practice of scholarship and scholarly instruction. People are largely ignorant of the interests of the human species. At the beginning of a dynasty, taxation yields a large revenue from small assessments. At the end of the dynasty, taxation yields a small revenue from large assessments. Geometry enlightens the intellect and sets one's mind right. All of its proofs are very clear and orderly. It is hardly possible for errors to enter into geometrical reasoning. Because it is well arranged and orderly. Thus, the mind that constantly applies itself to geometry is not likely to fall into error. In this convenient way, the person who knows geometry acquires intelligence. When incentive to acquire and obtain property is gone, 
people no longer make efforts to acquire any. Those who infringe upon property rights commit an injustice. If this occurs repeatedly, all incentives to cultural enterprise are destroyed and they cease utterly to make an effort. This leads to destruction and ruin of civilization. Geometry enlightens the intellect and sets one's mind right. The Berbers belong to a powerful, formidable, and numerous people. A true people like so many others, the world has seen. Like the Arabs, the Persians, the Greeks and the Romans. Eventually, Aristotle appeared among the Greeks. He improved the methods of logic and systematized its problems and details. He assigned to logic its proper place as the first philosophical discipline in the introduction to O philosophy. Therefore he is called the first teacher. The sciences of only one nation, the Greeks, have come down to us because they were translated through Al Maman's efforts. He was successful in this direction because he had many translators at his disposal and spent much money in this connection. Thank for watching.